Yeah, that's a good point. Who are we? Who who are we uh, reacting against in this Gary V clip? You know. Uh, our monkey says doing fine. I figured out what shot I got. I got the Moderna. Let's go. How are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Got the uh, second shot yesterday. Have you had any? Uh, have you had any rough um, rough stretches or anything? Hope you're feeling all right. I don't know. What do you guys think about... Here's my question to you, I guess. Are there any... Uh... Oh, I'm broke. The game just told me that I'm actually fucking broke. Are there any... Um... Are there any, like, inspirational speakers you actually relate to? Like, um... And you kind of... You can kind of get behind? Uh, shoot. I need to... Okay, we'll sell some things. Or like that you felt has really helped you. Oh, it was your first shot. The spot still hurts a little bit. Okay, gotcha. I watched your reaction. That was good. Thanks, thanks. I was pretty proud of it. It's all from the heart, you know. It's all from the heart. Uh, okay, I want to sell this stuff. Uh, okay, we can sell all that. Great. <laughs> Mars. Oh. All the sidewalks are gold for some reason. Wait, wait, what is that? All the sidewalks are gold? Wait, what? It's all about having... It's the heart of the cards, by the way. It's the heart of the cards. It's the heart of the cards. Oh, shit. Mm-mm. Wait, sidewalks are gold in Dune? Wait, I thought I would get the Dune reference if it was a Dune reference. Fuck, what did I miss? Shit. Sidewalks are gold in Dune. I hate it when I don't get a Dune reference. Oh no. Piss. Alright, so we're basically just selling a bunch of stuff that we got from... Um, from... Uh, scav junk box scav stuff um, scav cases between episodes which I did but I did a bunch of because I had to craft a bunch of stuff uh, in between episodes so I would just turn the game on occasionally and do some stuff Let's see how much they sell for um, the golden path did you clip the reaction I'm trying to find it I'm not sure if somebody clipped it it's while we're watching the actual it's probably five minutes ago while we were watching the actual uh Actual Gary V YouTube clip. This is what happens. You get so used to, you know, I'm, I'm to blame here. You get so used to Tub just clipping everything. Absolutely everything. All of a sudden, Tub disappears for a second and you're just like, where where'd all the clips go? You know? Where'd all the clips? Moment of silence for our, our good friend, the bathtub boy. Gone from stream today, but not forgotten. Where is he? I think he's probably sleeping. I think that I think that he's probably sleeping. I think that's it. Um. Okay, sell both of those. Not gonna lie, I'm not even a Christian, but I watch a lot of Stephen Furtick, who's kind of like a preacher. He makes a lot of videos about God on his Instagram. Oh wow, Victoria, that is interesting. That's hella interesting. I, um, in terms of like inspirational people, inspirational material, it's like this huge, mar like this huge market of stuff, right? The inspirational material type of, uh, type of stuff. I'm not really, I'm more into, you know what my inspirational material is? I'm not into like an inspirational speaker thing, but, uh, what I watch all the time is, uh, why is this not selling? Sell for 21420. Why? Oh, cuz I'm broke as fuck. That's right. I'm more into the like what I'll do is I'll watch uh really dramatic movies about extreme sports, specifically trail running most of the time, ultra running. I'll watch really dramatic ultra running uh movies. Um that's my go-to. <laughs> They make me, uh, they make me really emotional. I actually, I like cry at all of those all the time, basically. So. 
It's what the God, of, God Emperor of Dune was trying to guide the galaxy along. Oh. Is that first book? Like, first Dune book? I can't believe I missed that, Doey. I almost never find inspiration and inspirational stuff, quote unquote. I get my inspiration from things that organically and they're organically and actually inspire, and that is shade, yes. Okay, so what do you mean by organically and actually inspire? Because I think there's like some gray, there's some gray area there, you know, right, Mars? Like, the things that I consider inspiring mostly are, um, Paul talks about the golden path. Well, shit, I guess I got a bad memory then. Um, because the things that I find inspiring are like real, you know, real efforts of, for instance, one of the things that happened over this weekend, there's this, Connor will appreciate this if Connor's still here. There's this, uh, this legendary ultra running path. It takes like, last year the record was set at 61 hours for how long to complete the Pennine Way, which is this, this, uh, legendary ultra running thing in, uh, on the other side of the pond. And, um, this weekend, uh, an ultra runner I know-ish follow guy. Um, this record has been like hotly contested. People take minutes off of it, minutes off of it. It's 61 hours. He went 58 hours on it. Um, and like, I was very, I would consider myself very inspired by that. That's, and, and also inspirational material is definitely like made out of that stuff. And I would call that in that genre. I would call that like inspirational, that genre, you know? Um, but that's also organic and not, you know, I would, I would say that meets your, uh, your description, Mars. Are you talking to like overly produced inspirational stuff? <clears throat> Where did you see it though? I read his, uh, his description of it on, on, uh, his description of it and, um, his coach's descriptions of it on different social media platforms. It's all pictures posted on Instagram. Would you come over and do that? Not the Pinine way. No, that shit's fucking hard. No way. <laughs> no way. Uh, peacekeeper. This is for tub. It's the tub appreciation clip. This is what happens. You get so used to... You know, I'm, I'm to blame here. You get so used to Tub just clipping everything, absolutely everything. All of a sudden, Tub disappears for a second, and you're just like, where where'd all the clips go? You know? <clears throat> where'd all the clips? Moment of silence for our, our good friend, <laughs> the bathtub boy. Gone from yes. stream today, but not forgotten. Where is he? I think he's probably sleeping. He's probably sleeping. Thank you, Goth. You're a legend. <clears throat> I used to be into Jordan Peterson too, who's a hot topic just because of the shit he said in the past. I don't follow him anymore, but I used to enjoy his lectures. And what he's saying was poignant. Sounds relatively organic and natural. Yeah, I'm talking mostly the overproduced stuff that could essentially start with the words. I'm trying to seem inspiring for the money and attention. Yeah. I'm also, I don't know. I, I hear that, Mars. Yeah, and I and I, I can sense the shade for sure. Um, I think that's fine. I think it's one of those things though, where it's like, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of, uh, like my my gut recoils at that sort of stuff a lot of times but i also on the other hand sometimes challenge myself myself on that because the same way that like um you know this is very similar to my rupee kaur take um that i think pisses people off occasionally um which is just like i've seen enough of the world go you know their entire lives without ever reading poetry without ever being inspired so that like am I, am I about to shit on them when they when they first you know when they do finally first encounter that i don't know feels a little shitty to me but who i will shit on for sure is the person doing the doing the uh but also they're just reaching people you know i don't know Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. For sure. For sure. Oh, and the other thing, too, is that, like, I, th I just feel with so much, like, so much of the overly produced stuff we're talking about here, it's sort of also, like, um, it's so, uh, it's, like, religious in the worst way, 
in its like you are not allowed to doubt you are not allowed to uh to question that sort of thing and that part uh you know as we've talked about multiple times here that part doesn't doesn't uh hit me exactly right oh my god guys we're making fucking money i know you guys can't you guys don't you know you guys don't know but what we're doing is we're making fucking money here um okay which is good because we were fucking broke to start this episode we need to be making money cool the reason why i shit on rupee color is because it completely defies poetry standards so much so that it can't be considered poetry anymore it's not like Stein's rose is a rose is a rose. Rupi Kaur is fucking shit. It turns out I agree with you, but I also don't think that people who read Rupi Kaur are shit or have committed any real great sin. I actually just had a hella interesting conversation about this in the comments to my last Fallout New Vegas video. Very like what we have been talking about here. Um... I think that there's a similar sort of, uh, sort of like, um, really strongly held opinions about what is good and, and what is not good in art spaces, I think actually, uh, applies to that as well. I think it's like, I think it's the one thing I wish New Vegas had differently about it, which would be like, uh, a community that is <laughs> like a hardcore, a hardcore fan community that is uh, a little bit, uh, more willing to accept uh uh people who also love for instance hypothetically fallout 4. it's like it just feels like every every fallout new vegas um and this is not not true but it feels like everybody's uh every fallout new vegas fans first words are okay but now you have to pick which one's your favorite and there's only one right answer <laughs> and i'm just like Yikes, I don't know that you're going to like my answer there. Um, yeah. And we're, talk we're talking interesting topics here today. Interesting topics here today. Love to see it. Interesting topics here in on stream today. Okay. Whew. An industry plant in the writing community. Tub, you missed it. Tub, you missed it. We uh, We did an appreciation for you already. <clears throat> we uh we did an appreciation for you already let's see here um what did you say there i was helping my brother he was annoying <laughs> about fallout new vegas i'm guessing connor i'm guessing that's what uh you're most interested in let me take a look at this real quick uh, I said I was having a conversation in the comments the other day about Fallout New Vegas. And I just... I love Fallout New Vegas so much. Um, oh, sorry, Tom. It's a good clip. Save it and watch it sometime. I love Fallout New Vegas so much. Uh, and I, I just... I really love Fallout New Vegas. I also love Fallout 4. And one thing I encountered in Fallout New Vegas that I never encountered in Fallout 4 was uh, this this small group of people that was just like... No, listen, you cannot love both. You have to pick one. You have to pick a side here, is what it felt like. And uh, and uh, that uh, just struck me the wrong way. I love Fallout New Vegas, and mostly my experience was really good. But I just wondered why, like, in one game and not in the other one, there was this this sort of hardcore mentality that was like, nah, listen, you got to pick one side. It made me sad. It made me sad. All right, so we're going to think about what uh, what quest to do here. Uh, we cranked through quest in the last episode. We still have to kill scabs with that. We have to... Do we have other shoreline quests? We maybe should have at least one. Nope, just that one. Okay. So we're going to get on the night train. Yeah, we're getting on the night train. Um, night raids if we can. And we're going to get all of these, all this shit done. Sure. Cool. Oh.
Yeah, I mean, I hear you guys. I hear you guys, Victoria Tub. I hear you guys for sure on this, okay? But I also think, given the perspective uh, of somebody who is coming to this stuff for the very first time, like, like you and I, you, okay, so Victoria Tub and, and myself, we are blessed humans, right? We are, we are blessed in one specific way, which is that we know that art can be a salve or an opening of a door or et cetera, et cetera, whatever metaphor you use on topics like this, on like these incredibly deep topics, these topics that are so important to us. But that is like, even that, which we hold, in my opinion, which we all hold, I recognize myself and you guys, which we all hold to be like an evident truth of art, right? That is not a thing that everyone knows <laughs> or experiences or feels. And I do think, I do think that what we do, uh, what, what sometimes happens, not all the time, but what sometimes happens is that we look at people who are having that door opened for the very first time and we say, yeah, but it's fucking shit. It's such bad poetry. Of course it's bad poetry. It's really terrible poetry. Oh my God, but it's way too simplistic. Right, but that's like not meeting them. My, my only fear is that that's not meeting them where they are, which is like, they're just, they're, they're potentially opening the door. And maybe they were never going to go any further, in which case I grieve for them. But also, maybe what they needed to go a little bit further was not to encounter a bunch of, a bunch of what might be read as a little gatekeepy Listen, this is shit. <laughs> the feelings you're... And, and no one's saying this part, thank God. Nobody's saying the feelings you're feeling about this are illegitimate. But... At its worst, I think that's what, how it comes across. Not that any of you individuals have done that. This is why I just am like, let's please get off the dick of Rupi Kaur, please. But, um, yeah, but I'd be super interested to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Um, Connor says there's a lot of that in New Vegas. Um, yeah, yeah, but I hear you. I hear you, Connor. I hear you, Connor. But I, I, I would say I don't know that this is most Fallout fans. I think this is like most hardcore fans. Or like most big Fallout fans, and I'm cool with that. Um, yeah, it's just like it's it's so weird because it's not a thing I encountered in in uh, it's not a thing I've encountered in a lot of other games, but I definitely encountered it in New Vegas. Hey guys, we're into raids. I got to figure out what my goals are for today, but um, for now our goal is just to kill a couple players on Shoreline. So, um, <clears throat> uh oh. That's not nighttime. I thought that was nighttime. This is not nighttime. Uh oh. Okay, I need three scabs. Let's go this one. I don't know. It's interesting. Because, like, uh, New Vegas has been weird because. By the way, Chad, it's stretch time. I totally forgot. It's stretch time. Get up and stretch real quick. We've only been live for an hour. Can you believe it? It's interesting because I really like New Vegas. I do for sure. And I I hate that. <laughs> I hate that my love for it, New Vegas and Fallout 4, has been like, there's so many people like requesting that I quantify it and choose one that's better than the other. And like, it's just like some people, and it's not everybody, it's never this way on the internet, but a lot of people. No, sorry. A small amount of people are just like, I really, really need you to understand that Fallout 4 is way worse. Fallout New Vegas is true Fallout. And I'm just like, I... This one makes me less likely to interact with Fallout in the future than it does more. Regardless of how important you believe your point is. It makes me less likely to interact. And if we're closing that door on people, isn't that kind of... 
you know, the problem. There's a possibility to encounter those ideas again in a different setting, in a different book with a reductive attitude. Maybe that's far-fetched. That's what I think. So the argument, correct me if I'm wrong, Victoria. The argument you're making is it's possible reading Rupi Kaur or works like it lead you to be less thoughtful about these things in the future rather than more. Is that right? Oh yeah, I mean, Victoria, I don't, I wouldn't argue with you about that one either. Like, I agree. Yeah, I mean, I don't love the like f the what I would call like misplaced fame and <laughs> and et cetera that has come with it for sure. Um, yeah, but that's also like the minute we get, I I almost like I almost almost how do I phrase this? I almost like refuse to allow my brain to engage with the what level of fame and honor is deserved for what level of and money is deserved for what level of poet etc because it's just like oh my god at no at like at no point on the spectrum do i feel like it's accurate you know <laughs> like i'm trying to think of uh you know you name a writer and and i basically and i think most of us feel that there's like it's it's uh it's either less or more than they deserve, quote unquote. And I just and also I don't know how to accurately we want a couple scab kills. But I also don't know how to accurately like um how do I say this? James Franco definitely deserves that ring fan. Exact I mean more, honestly, Mars. He deserves way more. Way more. Way more than he gets. Hundred percent. I also don't know how to accurately check myself on that issue. On the deserves issue, I I avoid hardcore because I have no idea how to check myself correctly. Um and how to know when I'm when I'm the inaccurate one, you know? There are works of art that explore the complexity of the things Kaur tries to do and utterly fails in so much better ways. Contemporary and from the past, that would be more fitting of the fame that Kaur has. Again, I agree completely, Tub. I agree completely. I don't know that the solution to that is to, because <laughs> what I don't see is people going to people who love Rupi Kaur and saying, welcome to this wonderful world. You'll never believe the things that poetry and writing can do. You're, I'm so excited for the door that is opening in your life. Let's spend the next 20 years geeking out about this. I cannot fucking wait. What I see is Rupi fucking Kaur. I cannot believe she's the worst. And then just like immediately on purpose or not judging the people who enjoyed a Rupi, a Rupi Kaur book, you know? Um, Gabby Hanna. Who is Gabby Hanna? I don't know that I even know this name. Hi, MZ Lags. How's it going? Yo, Mudaflucka. Hello, Mudaflucka. All right, I need a couple scab kills. Let's go over here. Go gas station. Go from there. What if I'm a monster? Is that one? Is that Gabby Hanna? Who's Gabby Hanna? Who's Gabby Hanna? Mars is saying, uh, Franco also brings attention to poetry. It works always. Yeah. And I'm not, like, in no way am I saying, um, in no way am I saying Kaur or Franco deserve the amount of fame they have gotten for writing. Definitely not. An internet personality who's a mess. Ooh. We do love internet personalities who are a mess. We do. How's it going, Disco? Um, pretty sunset, pretty tarky sunset over the sea. We're going to do a lot of shoreline today. I think, I think I have approximately 10 quests to do on shoreline. The good news is all of them are relatively easy. 
If we can avoid fucking up. Yeah, maybe just heard something here. If we can avoid ha fucking up. I'm working on IT courses right now, so I'm here and not here. Good luck. You got this. Um, Cybersecurity is important. Don't uh, don't write your password down on a piece of paper. Does that help you with the course? I think that should probably help. I think this gatekeeping is very subconscious in the arts too. There's always that feeling of you either can do it or can't. And that ideal has been indoctrinated. Writing is a craft. People work hard in it. I don't need to tell you that because you've written much. To see someone put something out that could be very much half-assed and get such easy attention for it, it does sting a little for me and probably others too. Victoria, props to you for uh, to recognizing that because I think that's half of the uh, half of the unstated thing, half of the unstated thing in uh, in a lot of this conversation. There's one. Yeah, props to you for uh, props to you for saying it out loud. While we're talking about Ruby Core, my mind went to Ayn Rand, and I was so confused. Ooh, that would be a confusing... Yep. Do I have pure boat? I do. Let's go for it. Just gonna send her. Cybersecurity is my career path? Oh, dude. In that case, I really was helpful, wasn't I? <laughs> Ayn Rand is also shit. Welcome, Tub. Thank you for, uh... Thank you for the, uh... Yeah. Victoria's over here singing my song. Alright, um, let's do this. Forget that one stream where I said I was going to pick up the fountainhead, okay? Pick it up. Read it. Determine for yourself. It's cool with me. Just watch the cl uh, the clip about the clip. What provoked that comment? Tub, I had a I had a moment that I wanted clipped earlier. Um, I was reacting to a Gary V inspirational thing. This is how we got in this conversation: is Gary V being way over the top, quote unquote inspirational. Who I respect greatly, Gary V, but still was being way over the top. Oh no! 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 Don't do that! Don't shoot me! Uh uh. There we go. Uh, and then, uh, who is Gary V? Um, inspirational, like, YouTuber, right? Technically? Podcaster, but, like, wasn't he also a YouTuber? Was he a YouTuber? I don't know. Anyways, I wanted something clipped, and I was like, oh, no, I don't think it's gonna get clipped, because Tub isn't here. Ouch. Ouch, by the way. Thanks, thanks, Big Pogs. I survived, thank you. But uh no help to you. <laughs> no, it is. It's literally constantly. He John Green vocally hates on Ayn Rand literally at every single opportunity. Um, yeah. Literally constantly. It would be a list of references would be out of a list of references of how often John Green is hated on Ayn Rand in his podcast, Dear Hank and John, would be, there are 290 episodes. It would be 270 of the 290 episodes. I did not know that there were guns other than snipers in this game. Oh, dinks. We've been stuck on snipers for so fucking long. You go through phases in this game. I was on a, like, you have to because of the quests. I was on a shotgun phase for so long. We need one more scab and we can get out of here, by the way. I was on a shotgun phase for like a month. Now I'm on a... Basically a sniper phase. Right now I technically have like a, an M4, which is a... Assault rifle, but... May I tread on dangerous ground for a bit? That really depends, Tub. That's a question that I don't know how to answer. 
If it's against TOS, no. If it's like, uh, you know, like, I, I don't know. How do I answer that question? <laughs> May I tread on dangerous ground? It depends on the ground and the danger of it. I don't know, I don't know how to begin on that one. Maybe? But also, I'm not liable if you, if you do... If you do? I meant ouch for the other guy. Thank you, McPogs. That, that actually helps a lot. That helps a lot. <laughs> guys, what do you guys say to, uh, what do you guys say to playing some Gardic Phone this weekend? It is funny that one of the episodes is literally named when your friend likes Ayn Rand. That's funny as fuck. May I tread on dangerous ground for a second? Are you going to tell me a hot dog isn't a sandwich? Or are you going to tell me that, like, you know. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Everything's fine, chat. <clears throat> If we can still play Valorant, I'm down for Gardic Thong. We did, we did spread it. We did play it last night. <laughs> so I guess we are. Uh, we only needed one more scab, but we died. So fuck me, by the way. Um, wait, who did we die to? Yeah, it was a player. Shit. Was Valorant Pog last night? Valorant was Pog last night. We had two really close games, and I think we ended up on top in both of them, right? I think we ended up on top on both of them. Gardic phone is 100% happening, by the way. Gardic phone is 100% happening this weekend. Confirmed. What if I'm a monster? But also, there's a lot of time in the week. Hopefully, we can play some more Valorant together, too. Hopefully, we can do both. Hell yeah, I'll try to get that drawing tablet ASAP. Please, Tub, please. Please, get a drawing tablet. Show all of us up. Please, my friend, please. I beg of you. All right, so there's the suppressed M4. All right, so let's actually update our to-do list so that we know what we're doing here. <laughs> uh, kill one scav with suppied. With Suppy M4. I'm going to call it a Suppy M4. A.K.A. a suppressed M4. Suppy M4. It surprises M4. I'm just borrowing it from him. Um, After that is like Mark Fisherman's house. Something like that. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah, Valor was pretty good, Dinks. Um, yeah. It was, it was pretty good. We, uh... You know, we, I think we, we played with gravity again. We played with cat, cat joined for the first time, um, which was awesome. Cat's great. We all love cat here, but, uh, cat joined and was, uh, was having a good time. So yeah, that does not go there. Shit. I need one more of these. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, my priority is McPogs. You better not lose my goddamn M4. I'll do my best. I promise I'll do my best. I'm probably going to lose it. Let's be honest. Surprise. All I need is one fucking kill. Wait. Unload. All I need is one kill, though. Then I can lose it. You know? Then I can chuck it. Um, mm, mm. Should probably just go daytime for this one. Gotta buy more of these. These are so fucking expensive, it's actually dumb. It's fine, though. Okay. Linux, I want to play Apex, but got no one to play with. On the bright side, I can watch some indigestion. Yo, that's better than having some indigestion. That's all I got to say about that. Dang, who do you usually play with, Linux? Um, okay, we got that in there. Let's go, let's go. Can't put a voodoo on that, I don't think. Um, 
It should truly be nighttime. Nah, we'll go daytime real quick. Yeah, we just need one more kill. We're gonna get some quests done. We're level 41 already. Look at that. I want to play the game of love, but I got no one to play with. On the bright side, I can watch some indigestion. Have some indigestion should be your motto or something. Indigestion in the morning. Nope, I want to go during the day. Indigestion in the morning. Ooh, I didn't grab meds. McPogs is my priority as well, actually. McPogs is my priority. Um, it's it's weird, though, because he, he hasn't prioritized me in return, so it's like, it's gotten weird, you know? It's gotten weird. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, I play alone when my older brother isn't doing anything. Other than that, I'm alone. Wait, wait, how old is your older brother, Linux? Just like a couple years, or... or <laughs> 27 wow so he's quite a bit older than you gotcha he's my age oh shit he's younger than me actually by a year mm, i'm so happy to be lunch streaming nothing throws me off my off my off my routine like it's 1201 and i'm not i'm not uh i'm not lunch streaming you know nothing throws me off The real question is how many people is too many people for Gardic Phone? Like, do we need to rotate people in and out? We got a little, like, on the edge of potentially too large of a group at the end of the last time. I still had a fucking fun time, but it's a lot of people in a voice call, and it's really kind of a struggle to hear people, especially quieter people. 16-person lobbies is the, uh, is the limit. Imagine having Orion as an older brother. Uh, my sister had me as an old. That sounds... My sister doesn't have to imagine. She's two years younger than me. How many people were max the other day? I think we got to like 12? 11? 11 maybe? 10? 11? 12. I'm just going to keep saying numbers. We just need to change how many turns everyone gets and do we even need voice call? Oh, but hear me out. I loved the voice call part of it. I lo like, the best part was voice call. It gets so silent. It's great. I don't know. <laughs> 